Welcome back Wastelanders! It's time to dust off those pip boys because we're on with another adrenaline fueled episode of making the most detailed follow mock there ever was. Previously we made some significant progress on making the vault walls, but there was still a lot of details to add to what we did, so today we'll be doing exactly that. But of course that's not the only thing that the radiation cloud has brought us today. I got a few new part deliveries, so there will be a couple of new elements we can finish up from the ones we already did in this series, and of course several new ones, so it's going to be yet another atom bomb episode this week. So sit back in Mama Murphy's chair and grab some dandy boy apples because you're in for another radiation filled episode and let's get started right now. Hello there, I'm here to show you a wonderful place. So guys, having the side walls done in the previous episode, we got ourselves a pretty decent texture that gives us a more post-apocalyptic look of the whole scene, so I guess that now it's time to continue this pattern on the rest of the structure, and that is my primary goal for this update. But before we can get into that, we need some new pieces. And as I've made the order while making the last video, we can start this one with checking out what I got because there are a lot of fun elements here that will allow me to make the mock even better than it is right now. So let's start with a couple of rock elements that will add a bit of texture to a plain slope technique. I'm not very keen on making rocks this way, but you can't blame a man for trying, right? Next we have a whole bunch of bar handles I need for replacing the brown ones all around the vault doors, a disc I want to use for the inside of the doors, somehow, some modified tiles for the wall details that will be crucial to today's progress, a couple of yellow fences I want to use in the interior, along with a duplo flag I just took out of curiosity. Some yellow tiles I had none of and will be also very useful for the interior. A huge wagon wheel for some western or castle projects. Another part I took from curiosity being a Baville horse saddle which might be cool as some tree elements or something. A green rubber band. Some random pieces like this rock skull some homemaker hair pieces to use as rocks, and a couple of dark orange plant pieces I already used up in here, two nets for detailing the raider camp later on, and a few minifig accessories, nougat rocks for putting on the desert, and finally a proper torso for my vault dweller, since the one I'm using right now is not very accurate to the one from the game. Overall, a very good haul, with lots of useful pieces, so with all of them covered, I think we should first make some adjustments to the Vault Dweller fig. And doing that, I also used a few other pieces I just got and made a companion for our Vault Dweller using a post-apocalyptic version of Lucy's hair from the LEGO movie, legs from the new Barbarian CMF figure and a couple more team fitting elements making up a very nice looking fig to place around somewhere on the mock. Okay, but besides that, when recording the hole I realized that I haven't yet finished the road edge, so I immediately took a bunch of dark grey slopes and made something like this. Nothing too complicated here, but already a much better view of the road which blends with the surroundings very smoothly, and finally we have the entire landscape done on the front base plate and we can put this part aside for now. And just when I finished this and wanted to get to some wall building, guess what? Another order just came in. And it is a one I've been waiting for since before episode 3, so like a month and a half, which is a pick a brick online order from the standard category. So let's just quickly go through that as well and then we'll be able to make significant changes to what we already have, but let me just organize that a bit first. Ok, so starting off with the yellow pieces, I now have everything I needed to finish up the pickup from episode 2, which we'll get to as soon as we go through with the hole. We also have some random small pieces for detailing the camp later on, 
the big quarter circle wedges for the vault door, the precious dark grey corners for the platform, some different minifigure accessories and parts including the new soldiers from Eldorado Fortress that I want to use in one of my next projects and of course a light grey thread I need to replace in the vault door to complete its look. So now I think I'm all set with new pieces at least for this episode and we can finally get to some serious building. First, let's finish up the car. Actually, there isn't much to talk about here as you've already seen a render of it back in the series, but that doesn't mean that it didn't came out awesome. The rusted elements seem to look even better than in digital form and it will be a perfect addition to the cam, so let's set it in place and this way with the car and the road edge I did earlier, we have this part completely finished. Until we get to making the Raider camp of course and adding a whole lot of smaller details. Oh and by the way, if you want to make this pickup for yourself, you can get the instructions on my Rebrickable page where I uploaded both this version as well as the clean pre-war one, so just follow the link in the description to get started. But now let's leave this part and get back to the main base plates where I already done some sweet sweet progress as well. I mean just check this out guys. The texture I managed to incorporate here is the same we did in the previous episode on the sidewalls and it just looks so good together. And to be honest it wasn't even that difficult to achieve. I just made all segments using similar blocks as this one showing on the screen of course in different shapes and sizes and place them in between the slopes making up the layout and it, it just works. I mean the textures are nothing new but the whole idea of these cracks in the concrete covering the whole vault structure truly makes you feel like you're inside this universe. So having the textures finished we can finally put this wall behind us so let's have a quick look see in the back and then we'll continue with the rest. It may not be the prettiest side from the back now as it's just a colorful rainbow with all of the snot contraptions used, but all of that will be covered later on when I get to making the interior part of the vault, so no need to be worried about that now. So let us move on and what I want to do first is change the sides of the mock because here we need some consistency with the ground colors so I'd like to expand the dark tan rock work below. And this is what we have after making those changes. Here on this side it wasn't a difficult task, but there was a bit more work on the right side because all of the groundwork was made on a 16x16 16 16 plate and I needed to change a part of it just to have a smooth transition in the middle of it, but I guess it was worth it. And of course as you can see while doing the rock work edges, I also took some time and reinforced the vault walls with a bunch of duplo bricks and grabbed the remaining three loose segments of the wall with some clip hinges. I don't know why I took so long to make this connection when it was the simplest thing I could do just grabbing it from above, but now it all just holds the wall pieces perfectly in place. There might be some further improvements to the inside skeleton as I continue building, but for now I'm glad that it's all finally connected, but maybe let's not get ahead of ourselves and check if the door is able to slide out of the frame. And yeah, just perfect. The door is of course already fixed with the correct colors and looks really good, but there is still that yellow cable and the number on the door missing, so I guess that is something I need to make very soon. But back to the frame, there are barely any gaps visible and it looks so much better with the new grey bar handles all around, so we got ourselves another finished element of the mock and we are now one step closer to its completion. Now I was thinking about making some more rock work, but I'm slowly running out of time this week so I think we'll have to move that part to the next episode, but as usual before we wrap everything up, we should check out how the entire mock looks like connected. What is happening here? I am only seeing the entire thing together when I make these videos and man it looks good. 
Now I know that looking at the size, it may not seem like much work have been done, but the point of this update was more of detailing and fixing what I've already made, and that was made to the fullest. The mock just needs a couple more hours of work on the rock work and the entirety of the landscape will be completed, and then we will move on to making the interior, and of course the raider camp outside. So in the next episode, we'll start doing exactly that. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to finish the entire diorama in like 2 more episodes, so after the series premieres on Amazon Prime, but that actually might be a good thing, because I may get some cool inspiration from it, and we can talk about the show here as well. But for today, we only have one more thing to do. Or you do. And that is smacking that like button and dropping a comment about how do you like the mock so far and what part is your favorite. And of course, don't forget about joining our brotherhood of subscribers if you haven't done that yet, because we need all the help we can get to grow this little brick community we got here. But now, I wish you all a positive rest of the day, and as always, just remember to keep it breaking.